Hi, my name is George DuBose. I'm a music photographer, art director, and graphic designer. I've been working since my first album cover in 1978. I live in Cologne, Germany now. I'm still working. Some people call me the grandfather or the godfather of hip hop photography. Not the grandfather, thank you. A friend indeed. Come build me up. Come shed your I went to university to study law and as a result of an LSD trip, I realized I didn't want to wake up every day the rest of my life and have a think about who I'm going to battle with in a courtroom, whether it's you know divorce or corporate law or whatever. So I um, started thinking about what else I wanted to do, and I liked uh, drawing and painting, but I didn't have the patience for this. And I went on a trip to New York City with a friend of mine um, who bought a camera. I was kind of known by this point as a, a 1981 as a nightlife photographer. I was out most nights in different clubs photographing bands, photographing the scene. And uh, one of the doormen at one of the clubs, Haraz, uh, recommended me to uh, a music manager to photograph the artist of that manager. And the manager called me up and said that she had a singer. Then she wanted me to go out to a small town out on Long Island and photograph the singer of the band, not the band. And so I did, and I went there, and I saw one set, and I went backstage and introduced myself to the singer, and her name was, I said, what's your name? She says, Madonna. I said, what's your real name? She said, Madonna. And I was talking to her, chatting her up, and her manager got kind of pissed and kicked me out of the dressing room and never paid me for the pictures. Yeah, I had seen, I had seen a lot of... Uh, Musicians, uh, they're breaking out at the time. Uh, the B-52s, Kick Real and the Coconuts. And, and, and so I sort of knew what was likely to get a record deal and what wasn't. And um, Madonna had success written all over her. Well, I was just telling her that she she seemed a little shy. And I think that her she was wearing a very sexy outfit. It looked like uh, something Jane, Jane would wear in Tarzan films. A little leather skirt, a little leather top, and I, so she looked hot and sexy, but she seemed a little nervous about it. And I just told her it was working. Okay, but the guy didn't like it. The manager, no, the manager's a woman and didn't like it at all, no. Okay. I, oh, let's go. I, oh. Pretty much in the beginning of the shooting, um, I shot some of the whole band in the doorway of the car, the subway car. Monty Melnick, the tour manager, came up to me and says, "George, we got a situation here." Um, Marky doesn't know he's being kicked out of the group because he missed a gig, and he says he's drink, drinking too much, and um, the group wants him to be sort of separated from the rest, the rest of them because he's getting kicked out. How can we do this? And I said, well, I looked at the train and there's like a door and there's windows. I said, well, put th put the three guys in the door and Marky in the window. Ah, but Marky will get suspicious. He'll, he'll... I said, okay, we'll put Didi in the window first. And so when Didi goes to the window, I take some pictures and then. It's Marky's turn to be in the window. And that's how we got Marky to sit in the window. Yeah, the rockers never had guns. Uh, uh, a lot of the hip hop artists like to have guns, and they have guns. They wanted to show them in their photos. And there was a time when Cold Chillin' Records said that we couldn't use guns on the cover of their albums because big distributors, Walmarts and other record distributors weren't going to take any more rap covers with rappers with guns. Classic uh, case is Granddaddy IU. He wanted, he had a song, single called this, I got the gat. It means I got the gatling gun. Gatling guns are huge automatic machine guns. The theory was, my gun's bigger than yours. So he wanted to do a drive-by shooting with a Gatling gun. We went to Hempstead, Long Island, and uh, had a whole set. I had crowbars and baseball bats for his for his posse. I had a street, like a, a strobe on a, like a street light, so it's like a street scene. I was taking a picture of like the police camera to make it look like it was an observation of this drive-by. Well, IU was in a convertible something or other. I don't know what it was. Uh, and I said, okay, I'm standing on top of, on top of my car. And I have the tripod. And it's like a, a downward look. Okay, IU, 
I told everybody what to do. No smiling, no laughing. The guys with the crowbars and bats run away from the car. I, you, you reach for your piece. On three. One, two. Well, I, you stood up. These guys in his car stood up. They all had guns. I, you had an AK-47. The guy, the driver had a street sweeper, which is an automatic shotgun. Some guy had a four-shot Derringer. I don't know what the other guy had. I, I didn't even take the picture. I said, wait, I, you, you know the label said no guns. Oh, come on, George, just take a roll for us and we'll, we'll do it without the guns later. I said, well, wait a minute. I climb down off the car. I get up, down the ladder. I go over to IU. I say, IU, there's two things I don't do in life. One, I don't ride in the backseat of a motorcycle. And two, I don't take pictures of guns unless I know they're unloaded. So if you show me that that AK-47 is unloaded, we will proceed. It wasn't unloaded. It had a full clip with a bullet in the chamber. He, did, he didn't even know. I just think um, the bands today... They don't have concepts anymore. I mean, these rappers used to come to me, or the Ramones used to come to me with concepts. I mean, they had an idea for a photo. I don't think I don't think the bands do this anymore. I went to see um, a German magazine recently, and they did, he did an, they did an interview with me, and they were showing me their covers of their recent magazines, and they had fucking they had rock bands in hotel rooms for their cover of a magazine. How lame is that? The photographer has no creativity, the band has no creativity, and the magazine has no creativity. What do you get? You get a picture of a band in a hotel room sitting on a bed.